an automated pan tilt zoom webcam. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is really cool. It's the Ozbot Tiny Webcam. It is an AI powered PTZ webcam. And PTZ is pan, tilt, and zoom. And basically you can see the camera can move by itself and I'm gonna give you a nice demo in just a minute. But it can actually move with you so it can track you and you can zoom in and out with a simple hand gesture. I'll show you that too. So it does AI tracking with auto frame, auto exposure and smart white balance. The camera itself is a 1080p HD camera at 30 frames a second with a 2x digital zoom. So when I do this gesture for it to zoom, it can zoom in 2x and then it can zoom back out. And it has a 90 degree field of view, which I think is actually pretty optimal for webcams. Some companies are sending webcams or shipping webcams that have 110 or 120 degree field of view. And that's a lot. That gives you so much of your environment that it's really not very helpful for most of like web conferences and stuff. So 90 degrees to me is pretty close to optimal. Now, it also features a dual omnidirectional microphone with noise cancellation and as I've been showing, some gesture control. But you know what? Enough of this showing. Give me a second, let me move things around and I'll show you by demonstrating how this works. So, let me just come right back. Now, I have the camera on a tripod. You can see it here and if I spin my computer around, you can see what it's seeing. And as I go, I'm going to cut between what my QuickTime player is recording from here and my camera so you can see the sort of bigger picture. Now, one of the things that it's not yet doing is it's not tracking me, right? So the way to get it to track me, oh, actually it is tracking me, good. So now let me show you that zoom feature. And to do that, I just hold my hand up and I do a little L shape. And then if I keep doing it, it'll zoom back out, right? So it is tracking me. If it wasn't, I can just hold my hand up informally like this, like me, I'm the important person here. And then it will track me, but it should do that anyway. So as I move around, notice that it's actually following my action, which is pretty darn slick, right? So I can still zoom in and zoom out and I'm getting feedback because on the front, there's a green bar that turns blue when it recognizes one of those two basic hand gestures. Now, when I cut to the actual webcam footage that I'm recording on my computer, you're also hearing the webcam microphone. That's why the audio changes a lot. Now, one of the other things to notice is that it will move up and down based on me moving up and down. So it'll frame me. So all of this is happening automatically. Really cool. Now, <laughs> let me disassemble things and show you a little more and walk you through a little bit of the technology here. So hang on just a second and I'm gonna switch things back. I hope you found that interesting. I actually think this is really cool. Now, from here, you can see that green and it is actually trying to find me so it can track me. But that green light, like I said, turns blue if I was on camera and I did one of the two known hand gesture controls. But let me give you a couple of close-ups too because there's a couple of other interesting things. One of which is if you wanna turn it off, just point the lens straight down and it actually disables everything. And then when you're ready, you just pull to, you know, sort of flip it back up and you're good to go. Um, and then if I unplug it on the side, there's USB-C for power. Now I'm using my own USB-C to USB-C cable. So that doesn't really count in terms of part of what's in the box. I'll just put this on my computer because it ships with this. This is the cable included and it's USB-C on one end and USB-3, that rectangle, on the other end. Unfortunately, my MacBook Pro doesn't have USB-3, so this cable is not useful. Now, one of the other things it has is it does come with this sort of stand that you should be able to theoretically hook up to the back of your computer screen and 
By itself, it works perfectly well. So I can do something like this and get it just so. And so now I have it in a good position, right? Well, except it's a really heavy camera. So as soon as I put it on, it is connected by a battery, which is nice, but it tends to sag. So the way that they've solved that problem is that there's a sticky part here. But the problem is, is if you stick it on, then obviously when you close your computer, it's still stuck on. So not sure that's a great solution. This might not be really optimal, but the company does sell a little mini tripod for 10 bucks that you can actually use and have this on your desktop and separate from your computer. And I really like that setup. And the fact that it can track obviously gives you huge flexibility. Now, let me give you just a couple more specs and then we'll talk the price. It's really all we got left, right? So in terms of size, this is 3.5 inches by 2.2 inches by 2.2 inches. And it's 5.1 ounces, which is really heavy for a webcam, but really light when you consider how much technology is inside of this for it to be able to pan and tilt and zoom and do all of those cool features and all the AI tracking and everything in this tiny little device. So if you can figure out where and how to mount it, I really don't think this works very well connected to the back of your laptop screen. But for example, if you have a desktop monitor, then this solution might work great because you're not going to be taking it and bringing it to work and taking it home and putting it on the airplane so you can use it while you're on a road trip. So something like this then works a whole lot better. But it does have the quarter inch thread on the bottom, which is exactly how I used it with my tripod. And that gives you huge flexibility. Use a longer cord if you have to bring your own, that's okay. Although actually their cord is pretty darn long too. So that's everything about this. I am a fan. I love this sort of technology because I think it's really interesting for it to be tracking and following and having smarts in it. And the idea that I can just do something like this and have it zoom. I wish this camera did that, right? It doesn't. <laughs> now, having said all of that, the only thing left to talk about is the price. And it's obviously going to be a little spendy for a webcam, but obviously it's not just a webcam. There's a lot more to it. So before I get to the price, can I invite you to go ahead and click and subscribe to my channel? Really appreciate when you do that. And feel free to give me feedback, thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you wish I would have demoed or zoomed in on or whatever. And with that, this is the Ozbot tiny webcam and it's $199 at store.ozbot.com. And I would say if you're looking to up your game and you move around while you're on camera, then this is gonna be one of your very best options. Definitely one worth checking out. That's all I got. I hope to catch you in my next video.